Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna to be talking about my most worn and favorite denim. I made this video back in 2018 and I was very much still very deep into my shopping addiction and shopping habits. And so if you go back and watch that video, you'll hear the word love, obsessed. So I found it actually quite interesting to like go back and see what I deemed as the best denim at the time. Some of those jeans I actually still do have but my tastes have changed, my shopping criteria has changed. That's a car, if you hear that sound. So I guess this is kind of like a mini review slash my most worn denim video, and we're gonna talk about the fit, the wash, the durability, the versatility of the item, and a little bit into the sustainability of each company that I've chosen to purchase these denim pieces from. A lot of you guys are interested in that, and I am also starting to kind of have that as part of my criteria when I am looking to purchase or get new denim. So I thought that would be something interesting just to add in there so let's get into the denim pieces this is in no particular order of preference I have a pile of jeans in front of me and I'm just going for it so the first pair of denim that I wear a lot and that I really enjoy are these Frank and Oak Stevie jeans so these are a tapered fit I got mine in a size 25 and I'd say they fit true to size these have a 10 inch rise a 28 inch inseam they're hydroless denim and they are good denim which means that they are made of 100% organic cotton and they didn't use a lot of water or resources in order to make this particular denim. As for the denim itself, I find that it's very thick, it's quite durable, but it's still quite soft. So it's not that sort of crunchy, stiff kind of denim that takes a lot of work to break in. These on me, I like how they fit in the sense that I always want my bum to look like a peach emoji. I don't know why in my old video I said the word a lot. I really just, I don't know, I'm a sweary girl, I like that word, but for me denim is all about the butt and all about where it fits around my thighs and around my waist. I don't want to be fussing with my denim all day or sitting down and worrying about a muffin top. So these don't do that for me. I can sit and stand very comfortably in them. I can tuck things into them easily. I wore these pair of denim in my slip dress video and I was able to tuck an entire length of slip dress into this denim. For me, out of all my jeans, they are the truest to a mom jean. Mom jean jeans fit mom just the way she likes it. To me it's sort of in a vintage 80s fit which I really like about it. I haven't really gotten a lot of wear out of these over the summer. I find these to be a good fall and winter jean and I think that's just because of the thickness of this denim and just how sort of heavy and weighted it feels. So I'm gonna see in my wardrobe tracking spreadsheet I did make a wardrobe tracker if you guys are interested. I will leave that link down below. It's in my blog post. So I'm gonna keep track of how much I actually wear these but I really do enjoy this denim. By the way I thought it was kind of amusing that I'm doing a video about denim, but I'm wearing my leggings today. We're in quarantine. How often are you really wearing jeans these days anyway? So my next favorite pair of denim is a pair that I recently bought, actually. I bought them over the summer and I've been wearing them quite a lot. Lately, I've really been into that very relaxed but high rise distressed kind of fit of denim. So I did actually buy them new and these are the Denim Forum Joni jeans from Aritzia. So these are described as a super high rise, loose fitting pair of jeans. The ones I have are distressed. So the Denim Forum is actually a brand that Aritzia created and it's an in-house Aritzia brand that they created to address a lot of the sustainability issues that are associated with denim. So I only recently learned this myself too and it's that denim is a very resource intensive piece of clothing to make. All of the denim in the Denim Forum are made of 100% organic cotton, which from my research says that it is less resource intensive, less water intensive, so just in general better for the environment. I do have a few other pairs of Denim Forum jeans and I do find they all generally fit a little bit big, especially if you wear them quite a lot. So when you, if you get true to size, they will fit perfectly, but even within the day, they will start feeling looser. So I decided to size down in these. So this denim feels a little bit softer and thinner than the more premium denim. So I think that's probably why you can get that better price point with the Denim Forum. I love the rise on the Denim Forum. I'm really, like I love like a high rise sort of jean that kind of goes past my belly button and really gives that height and elongation to my waist. So if you are into that sort of relaxed fit, that more 90s oversized, kind of grungy look, then I think you'll really like the Joni jeans. So in terms of vintage denim, I actually don't have a lot of vintage, but 
Out of the ones I do have, these are my favorite. And it's because they're my mom's. A couple of years ago, my mom was clearing out her closet, or let's be honest, maybe I was just like meddling in her stuff and I found a bunch of pairs of old Levi's 531s that my mom was no longer wearing and I tried on and they fit me really well. My mom was super into Levi 531s and I looked online and they're actually really hard to find and I haven't really heard too much about them. You really always hear about the Levi 501 ones, those seem to be the cult classic, but for me in the past I've had a pair of kind of newer Levi 501s. They didn't end up really working out for me like I thought they would. With that, it sort of lends itself to the idea of trying to find things that work for your body and that you feel good in and not trying to pursue things that are trendy or all the hype at the time because I invested money in Levi 501s and they never really just felt quite right on me. So get what works for you. These you've seen in a few of my videos. These are actually so old that the Levi's tab has actually come off. You can see some evidence of it right there. These are so good and they're so good because they're pre-worn in and they're not pre-worn in because of processing or anything done in the factory. This is like a custom everyday wear in that my mom did. They're really, really soft. They're very like malleable feeling. The denim is thicker in some places and thinner in others. It has a lot of its own natural distressing. I don't think these were originally this color and that's what I mean about a good vintage pair of denim. The wear and the patina, I guess, of the jeans is gonna be so custom when you get things secondhand or vintage and even better when it comes from mom's closet, you know? This is another pair of my mom's Levi 531s. These still have the leather Levi's patch on it and they have the Levi's tab. If you're looking for a similar, more modern fit of the Levi 531s, I'd say they're very similar to the Frank and Oak Stevie jeans. So these to me are like a true mom jean and they make your butt look a mile high. So for me, I find these to be very long and lengthening um, and also very sort of relaxed. Nowadays, I really just like a straight leg pair of denim that cinches you in at the waist, sort of lifts and does something for your butt, not just like flattens it out, but it's gotta do, you know, it's gotta a little bit for you. Look at that. Wait! Oh, oh, oh. Actually, I think I'm just assuming that these are Levi 531s because my mom, all of the pairs that my mom gave me were Levi 531s, but actually I think these might not be. I'm not sure of the design of these or what they're called, there's a stamp in here, not for resale. It says they're 100% cotton and made in Canada. I can't see what the make of these are, but actually, now that I think about it, I don't think they're 531s because the inseam on these is 10.5, and these ones that are actually labeled 531 have an inseam of 11 inches, so I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure what other kinds of denim my mom was buying, but she liked her Levi's. This last pair of denim is a pair that I purchased over quarantine, and they are kind of like a pair that I'm really not sure about anymore, but they are the A. Goldie 90s jeans. So A. Goldie is a premium denim brand. I feel like they've been quite popular, especially this year on the gram. I've definitely was influenced into wanting these jeans and buying them. They were on my wish list for a couple of years, so I did wait to pull the trigger, but I'm not wearing them as much as I thought I would. I'm actually wearing my denim form Joni jeans more, and it's because those jeans really sort of fit that relaxed kind of 90s distressed, easygoing summertime denim that I was looking for initially with these. A little bit about these jeans, these are actually really lovely and they do definitely feel more premium and more heavy, kind of heavyweight compared to the denim forum, um, which is probably why their price point is that much more. A Goldie is a company out of Los Angeles and when I was doing a little bit of research on them, um, I found out that they are owned by Citizens of Humanity. So it's my understanding that these jeans are made in the US for the most part and they are made of 100% cotton, so they're a very stiff, no stretch denim. And the recommendation is to size down, so I actually bought these in a size 23. Now this is actually where I went wrong. So my normal jean size is usually anywhere between a 24 and 25, and a lot of the reviews for these jeans was saying to size down even one or two sizes. So I decided to size down the two sizes, and they ended up being the perfect fit. Now the perfect fit wasn't really what I was looking for when it came to these jeans. I really wanted them to be on the baggier 
outside and to be more relaxed. I think it's kind of funny that I was actually looking for an imperfect fit and then I ended up getting a perfect fit with these jeans. But I have gotten compliments about how they look and I do like how they look, but they just weren't quite what I was looking for when it came to the fit. I really like the distressing on them. I think it's really cool and very grungy and just gets more distressed with wear. Like when you accidentally put your foot through here, it just makes the holes bigger, which I actually really like. These do have the button fly, which is very, very vintage. Um, and I really just like the wash and the weight and the feel of this denim. It doesn't feel too thin, which I think maybe is the difference between these A Goldie jeans and like a Citizens of Humanity. All of my Citizens jeans that I've had in the past, and even the ones I have now, the denim is very, very soft and very, very thin. And these don't feel like that. They feel very weighty and durable. So I feel like these jeans actually will last a long time if I do decide to keep them. When I did Google the sustainability by A Goldie, I really couldn't find a lot. I had to do a lot of digging in other articles written about them to find out a little bit more on their sustainability. Um, and I couldn't really find them. Actually, let's just look now. So I couldn't find A Goldie on the Good On You app, but I did find Citizens of Humanity which they're also rated as it's a, it's a start. And because these are so distressed, they don't really knock it out of the park in terms of versatility. These are definitely like a weekend lounging sort of relaxed style of jean that I couldn't get away with wearing at work or anywhere like that. So they don't really win in terms of versatility, but in terms of my personal style and what I like to wear, I like to wear distressed denim. I like to wear more grungy kind of styles of fits these days. The idea was to get a lot of wear out of these, but I am wearing the denim forum jeans jeans more often, so we'll see what happens with these. I'm not sure yet. They might end up on my Depop. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys got a little glimpse into what I look for in my denim. I, I know a lot of it is the same. Lately, I'm not really seeing the need to have so many pairs, but I think doing this was a really good exercise and reflection into seeing what I really liked and why I like them and how much use I'm actually getting out of them. And my wardrobe tracking spreadsheet will help me with that too along the way. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite pairs of jeans are and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.